Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Refugee to Regent uh, FTB Challenge Series. My name is Sevel. Um, so I've been doing some building and some more tidying up. I moved the orchard a little bit. Um, this way we can have kind of a path leading out towards our lumberjack. And then I added just kind of a stack of logs outside. We have some storage inside and here. But um, I thought a stack of logs against the building uh, added some character. So today what we're going to be doing is working on another one of the buildings outside of our town. This is going to be our farming area. Um, I've started to clear a little area over here. I haven't cleared any of the foliage, but yeah. So having these two areas kind of outside of town and more of the rural district um, means that if we pull up our map real quick, this area will be kind of used as that um, and kind of spreading out as we expand the rural aspect, which means our town will kind of expand down this way as we build bigger and bigger. I mean, our community center may eventually have to be moved more central in town, but we will see. Um, another thing is the hovel that we built, our big one, will be used as a tributation tower um, for mob spawning and stuff eventually. So maybe this isn't the best place for it or we have to move some stuff, but we will get there. So... The biggest thing about our farming area is we need to um, be able to provide a food source for our full population. Um, this will allow us to have a decent farm up here in size. We'll have to do a bunch of um, terraforming and stuff to get everything to fit, but that should be fine. And uh, yeah. Another thing that I ran into were there were two huge great woods, one here and one here. So I have a ton of great wood and a ton of oak. So I think that's going to be what we're going to be building out of for this, um, which is going to be different than the previous versions that we've used um, with the silver wood, bell wood and stuff. But at the same time, I think that's okay. Um, a lot of farmers use the materials that are available to them, so we will be sticking with that theme as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some layout done, go sleep real quick, and I will be back with you guys when we actually get the building. Hey guys, and we're back. So I've done a little bit of layout here, of just a few rooms. This area will be a back porch kind of coming out to where the sand is. I thought that would be kind of cool. And then due to our limitation in being able to move water currently, we really had to look at where our water sources are. So we have one here, and we can pull that down through here and actually get a fair amount of irrigation by dropping the land down um, through all of this area as well. And the other one is the water over there, and then water further that way. So this is going to be kind of where our main farms are, um, at least for this age until, and next, until we get uh, ingots for buckets, or I find a bucket to be able to use. So for this, we're going to have to do a bunch of terraforming, and uh, we may get to that this episode, but maybe not, depending on timing. So just coming in, with this being the front of the house, um, oops. Sorry about that. With this being the front of the house, what we're going to have is we're going to have our main entrance room kind of right here. And then a secondary room with like a kitchen and then a bedroom in the back. Um, with a nice little back porch. So this kind of getting the great wood base of the structure laid out. Um, one thing that I do want to try to do 
for the kind of this whole build is keep the floor a half block above the ground here. Um, I think that's just a good way to go about things with uh, building practice. And if we were using full blocks here, you would have full blocks on the ground. Um, but I do like when you're standing from the side here and like you look, you can actually see under the building somewhat. I think that looks really good. So we'll continue this practice moving forward. I hope I have enough spruce. Maybe. So once again, this building will be kind of small, but not too bad. We'll have kind of a storage area um, in the entry room for some of the food. Now, since we have our granary and then we have to build a food bank, um, the farmers won't be storing all the food that they produce. So they don't need as big of a storage area as we will need for our lumber um, area when we actually get to building more of the insides. Uh, right now I'm trying to build just the outsides of the buildings and from the cotton and other items that we need to make the transition to the insides when we get there. Hmm. So we'll use our oak slabs for our back porch area. Just kind of give it a different color. And maybe we'll come to right here with our pillar. And we need a micro block. For actually both of these. So unfortunately you can't place a micro block under a standard slab. Um, we need micro block and an oak. Pull that out. And this way we can have kind of a railing going around connected to these posts. So laying out the bedroom here, uh, we'll have the head of the bed here, which means down at this side we'll put a window. Maybe just a two wide here. And then just have solid walls with the door down at this end. And since we have our kitchen here, what we want is this to be our kind of prep area. So we'll move our crafting bench over there. And we still need to make a uh, another frying pan for here. We'll go crafting bench and then Maybe out here and have this kind of whole wall be for that. And once again, we're going to use our cherry wood. Just get that red color so that the buildings do have some stuff that just tie them together. Maybe we'll use a slab here just to kind of reduce the height. Not that way. Or the width, sorry. And do the same thing over here. There we go. This will be kind of our prep area for the kitchen. Put a chest here, which I don't have. Do have one down there, but so let's get a chest and run away from the night. 
So one thing that I found out um, while I was kind of working on this little dock that I built over here is the extra fences that we used, like the great wood fences, you can't place torches on like you can a normal fence. Which uh, is really unfortunate. I was really hoping that you would be able to and they'd be considered full blocks. Uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So, But since we are using the oak for our back kind of porch area, we can just use standard fences and get around that uh, and be able to put like a torch or two out there to get things lit up. So once again, just an offset door, uh, kind of keeping with that theme on most of the buildings. And a solid wall behind where the beds are going to be, since they'll be right here. And I hope I have enough oak. Should have some more around, but uh, not on me. And we'll do a nice little one by one window and another window at this end. Lots of natural light, definitely, at this stage, since light would be a commodity, uh, for sure. And having windows would be something that would be very helpful. Uh, keep at least the inside of the buildings not completely pitch black and not having torches creating soot everywhere. Since we are building out of wood, fire would be decently dangerous. So just keeping with that theme as well. This may be a kind of one wide window here. So we'll be able to look out onto the farms that will be kind of down in here and kind of have a little outdoor porch area which may eventually end up being for bees or something else, but uh, we will see. And then some fences, that's definitely not enough. And one thing that I haven't actually messed around with at all are the IC, or IC2 uh, crops. That's something that I will be doing this series. Uh, something that's definitely interested me, just I have not actually gotten into it. Hmm. I think we need slabs under here. Get that looking much better. Yeah, I like the overhang here a little bit, um, since it is a porch, I think that should be good. So the last part that we have for this is the roof, um, and once again we're going to be incorporating in our cherry wood, I think that that's important as kind of a theme to our settlement. So, get the cherry wood planks kind of running around everything, and then we'll run a great wood roof as we did over there. For our other buildings. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to need another saw for my co-box. So. Unfortunately, that means I need to create another furnace and do all that and then throw everything else away again. Um, but such is life. So we'll get a pick. We should build a Tinker's Construct pick. Um, definitely better. Um, well, that was interesting. So it seems that we can use the Natura sticks to repair things, but we can't actually use them, as you can see there, as the crafting, which is interesting. But uh, just kind of a side note for you if you're doing building with that or trying to get around um, having to craft tool rods. We'll bring one of the dogs over for our farm dog and progress on from there. So I'm going to go grab some resources, uh, just some stone, so that I can build a furnace and make another saw. And then I will be back with you guys in a minute. Hey guys, back with you. I just wanted to bring up something. Uh, I crafted the furnace and then I looked at the recipe for the stone saw to check uh, the stone rods and how many that you got. And one thing that I completely forgot of is, or forgot is, so the stone tool rods, or for the stone rods for forge micro blocks, you need actual stone. But if we look at, um, let's see, I believe, the stone tool rods for Tinker's Construct, you can construct from cobblestone. Um, because of this, I didn't actually need the furnace. So we will just be tossing that in a minute. But we can just craft our stone rods, get our flint, and get another saw. So that does, oh gosh. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Huh. Well, let's use those up. Let's try this again. So yeah, you don't need a furnace. Um, so that will definitely save you a little bit of time. Though, if you do use the furnace, you do get more. And now we just need a piece of flint. No doubt I'm not going to get one for a while. So what we're really looking at... Um, for our farm is a lot of terraforming. There we go. That was due to me shift clicking out of the table, I think, uh, is why I got the super low durability one. Alright. Got a micro box. It's night. Sweet. And go through there. So we'll take um, die, Mr. Skeleton. one dog with us. One thing that is kind of nice about uh, 
having crops here is we can kind of sneak out. What the crap shot me? That was shot by something. Oh, the guy over there. I don't want to really deal with the creeper, so I'm not going to bother. Um, sit. 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 I am pumped. Uh, let me relog real quick and see if I can get these dogs to actually mind. Alright guys, right back with you. I did get the dogs to actually sit down. And we'll head over and bring one dog with us to our uh, new area. Maybe leave one here. Because everybody needs dogs. Dogs are great animals. And one over for our farmers. And he'll sit out on the deck for now. And we'll... Hi! Come on. Come on. The joys of them teleporting, sometimes they don't always mind. There we go. Good boy. Alright, so the last couple things that we need here are doors for kind of like everywhere. So we'll get a few of those. Uh, four should do it. There we go. We have our outside area, put kind of a little covered area here. Mm, that's the wrong spot. All right. So if the dog's out, you know, has the ability to find a little bit of shelter at least, and uh, that would be good. And I forgot to grab more cherry wood, so I will have to finish the cherry up off camera. Because I've done enough running around. So on the woodcutter's house we had the center room having a raised roof. And we won't be doing that for uh, this area. We'll just kind of have it all be one level. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to be bringing our uh, roof back out like we did with the, the big building over there. Um, since the farm hut will pro or farmhouse, not hut, um, will eventually become multi-stored building pretty quickly. Uh, just to keep up with having enough farmers and space for our village inhabitants. We'll want the extra room. And since uh, the farmers can irrigate 50 to 100 blocks, or deal with 50 to 100 blocks of crops, we should be pretty good. Once again, I'm using the shifted micro box trick here. So I don't have to place a temporary block. And then for the inside, we're definitely going to need some sort of roof uh, 
for each of the inside buildings uh, height. So we'll work on that as well. And since we have used the silver bell and we do want some consistencies between buildings. Um, I think we'll do a silver bell roof in here. So we'll have the red, the white, and then kind of the darker. And I should have some of those slabs in here. Perfect. So these will be at the same height as those that we just placed. So we'll come here, just kind of put them in like so. And remove just a couple blocks so we can still move about up here. Since without flight, we do have to find more creative ways to get around. Check how that looks real quick. Yeah, that should be good. Get that red trim border. Which I'm going to do on all the interiors of all the little houses that we have. And then uh, we have that lighter point color for the roof. Of the inside at least. And then we'll have the dark great wood planks on top of this. Um, So the outside roof color will be the same. Another thing that will be nice about this is it will create a full building on the map. Um, so if we zoom in, we do get this actually full building texture, which is nice. Having the map show building is more true is something I do like to have. But as I was mentioning last episode, is not an option with the micro blocks. And then on top of this we just have our big roof area. This isn't even all the great wood that I got from uh, harvesting up here, so definitely more than enough wood for this project in this area. Oops. Wrong height. So these more flat roofs are what we're going to do for all the non-community buildings. And the community buildings will have something else, uh, more like what we have for the town settlement center. Started out with the multi-leveled buildings, uh, making sure that there's more of the red incorporated. I don't think I'm going to have enough great wood to finish this. That's unfortunate. And they'll have kind of just a higher peak. Uh, than the roofs of the community or the non-community buildings, the personal houses and such. It's almost night. So 
So I'm going to go sweep and go grab a bunch more wood, and I will be back with you guys to finish this. Yep. See you in a minute. Hey guys, back with you. So just getting the little entrance area kind of sorted here. Do kind of just a wider little porch. Just kind of step up. We actually don't need this to be a full block due to the direction of the door and stepping up is nice and easy. So we'll leave that like that. I created a bunch more of the silver bell planks so we can finish this off. There's that. And we still have to get back up top. Oops. So we aren't going to get to any of the terraforming this episode, unfortunately. Uh, we'll have to do that next episode for all the farms. But uh, that should be okay. And then after we do a bunch of the terraforming... Okay, I did get that corner. So that should all be good. Um, after we do a bunch of the terraforming, we'll get our crops planted and... Go from there. Um, one of the things that I have noticed being over at the village doing the farming is it seems like the barley crop grows faster than the standard Minecraft wheat. Um, so instead of planting barley, we will, or instead of planting wheat, we will be planting barley um, kind of everywhere that we can. I think that's a much better way to go. And, yeah. So this whole area, I'll have to do some more clearing out. And then next episode, we will do a bunch of terraforming together. And we can go from there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, leave me a like. I love the... F oh. More damage. I love the feedback everybody's been giving. Uh, I hope the sound continues to be better. I think I have it finally figured out. And uh, yeah. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Ciao.